good morning welcome back to the channel um we're ready to start it huh i'm gonna eat this salad for breakfast i like i'm kind of nervous because like i said given my condition my food intolerance lettuce is not something that agrees with my body i can do spinach raw but lettuce typically i can't but i have been taking um what are these pills called? They're called digestive enzymes pills. So I'm gonna see if it's been helping, if it's helping or not. So I'm gonna attempt to eat this salad and it doesn't look too a pleasing, appetizing. It comes with like chicken, bacon. What is it, the Cobb salad? I'm gonna add more bacon bits. So this morning, um, we have a lot to do, not a lot, but we do have uh, several things that have to get done today. And uh, uh, one of those things is a, I'm getting my van up, updated, updated? No, I've got a big upgrade to my van. I'm getting brand new all-terrain tires put on my van. Better, better tires than what I have now. Um, I think the brand is Wrangler. The um, guy at the, the uh, discount tire told me, he said that these tires are awesome for off-roading it's excellent for snow driving it's all around all weather really really great terrain all terrain tire um for what you want to do and so i'm super happy super super happy and then we're gonna do i gotta go to my uh, my mailbox today because i ordered uh something off amazon for my van and that's a minor upgrade that i'm super excited about so i'll show you guys and uh I'll let you guys know about that upgrade once uh we're done with the tires so that's what we got we got going on today first bite goes to you have that bite all right i'm nervous here we go well i'm deciding if i can eat this lettuce or not or if it's going to have an effect on me in a bad way this is what I've been taking. Digestive enzyme, gastrointestinal health. So. So far. I feel a little okay. We'll see if I finish it. But that's what we got going on this morning. I'll see you guys when I am on my way to discount tire for my new tires. I'm super excited. See you guys when I'm on the road. We are here at discount tire. Let's go. Oh, good. They are not busy. Yes. Right, let's find a parking spot and uh, let's park, shall we? Yes, they are not that busy at all. Last time I was here, they were freaking swamped. So we're gonna park right here. Right here, perfect. Okay, we're here. All right, I forgot to show you guys my before and after on the tires. So here's the before on the tires. These are the tires before. Tread is decent, still good. Um, Nexton, I guess is the name. Let's take a look at the others. The before. Here's the other one, sorry, fixing my, is it before? And we got one more. There we go. Hopefully the new ones look mean and just freaking awesome, I can't wait. So that's the before of all the tires. They are still working on my baby right there. And look at that cool camper. So hopefully they'll be, they'll be done soon. I'm ready to go. Been here over an hour and a half. 
they just told me that my vehicle is done. They're just tightening up the lugs. So let's see what my baby looks like with these new tires on. They're getting ready to back it out. I'm so excited. We're backing my baby out, guys. Look at my baby. Look at the tires. They're so tiny looking. But they still look really mean. So. Look at my baby. Look at those tires. Everybody open up. Grand entrance. Look at those mean tires. Now we gotta make sure I ain't making no noise. Is that as far as he gonna pull it? Pull my baby up. Ooh, look at those tires. Oh my gosh. I guess that's as far as it's gonna go. Come on. Look how fucking mean those look. Excuse my language, but look at them. They're big, they're mean. Look at that thick tread, oh my god. That's so beautiful. Look at that, look how mean it looks. What, you can't touch us, what? Look how mean, can't touch us, what? What do you think of the new tires? I think they make my vehicle look so mean and so good. It even drives different, like it feels different it feels better it drives better with those tires wow now i'm at my mailbox i'm about to go get my pack my other package that i'm about to install here right in the parking lot the minor upgrade i was talking about the tires was the major and this one that i ordered on amazon is the minor so let's go get that package i mean look at those tires look how good those look oh my gosh look how good those look it just looks so mean like like, grr. what? We are ready. We are getting my baby ready for full time travel. You hear me? All right, let's go get this package. So, I got a couple of packages that came in. One I'm super excited about, but this is what I bought, guys fuel tank cap. So, this is a fuel tank cap for the gas tank. And I'll be able to lock my gas tank so that uh, my gas is secured. So I'm about to install this right now and we're gonna be on our way. This is my gas tank, this is the cap. You notice there's no lock or anything on it. So let's install uh, this one right here. So here it is. Got you guys propped up on my driver's seat. I hope it fits, it should fit. Uh, it was a good investment, I just, you know, when I start traveling full time, I want to be protected and safe. Sorry about that. When I start traveling full time, let me fix you guys up. When I start traveling full time, I want to be protected and safe. So this is what I got with two keys. Hopefully it fits. So here we go. I'm going to install it now. Took this one off. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it in the box. You never know. And then this is the new one with the uh, lock on it. So let's see if it fits, crossing my fingers. Right now, in this position where the lock is horizontal, that little piece, it's locked. I can't take it out. So now we're gonna take the keys and we're gonna unlock it and the key has to stay in, I can't pull the key out. So I guess that's their way of making sure you don't lose it. So now I'm gonna turn it that way and then take it off so it fits we're gonna tighten it lock it and let's try it yep there it is new lock nice and secured can't open it try one more time wish it was a little more I guess keep the key in so you don't lose it sorry about my dry hands so we're gonna put the key in Turn it and then take it off. There we go. Put it back on. One good turn. That's it. Lock it. And it doesn't come off. Nice and secured. Boom. A lot of times we forget that securing the most simplest things as your gas could be a lifesaver because you just don't know what people are capable of doing out in the world. Uh, putting stuff in your tank, stealing your gas when you're asleep, 
I mean, especially when you start traveling full time. And for me, I, I'm not going to know the areas. So I want to protect as many things as I can as possible. And my gas is one of them. So I'm happy that I finally got that. I do have a spare key. I'm probably going to make a couple more keys just to have because two ain't enough. I'm a little bit nervous about that. But gas secured. Now take a look what I ordered um, off Amazon and it came in uh, yesterday. I ordered a couple things besides the gas cap. I'm really, really excited about one of them. So take a look. I ordered this uh, snow shovel <clears throat> so I can make sure that the, I can get out of situations if there's a lot of snow around me. I can dig myself out or dig the snow around me so I can be good. And then the star of the show, I ordered a one person tent off Amazon. It's, what is this? Uh, there it is. Greer top, gear top, gear top. It's a one person tent and I plan on using it this winter. I plan on using it this winter. Uh, I'm gonna set it up to make sure I know what I'm doing, but this is a one man tent. Um, I'm super, super, super excited. Um, I'll put the picture somewhere on the screen, what it looks like when it's put together. This tent is so, so cool. Um, it's simple, it's easy to put together, and that's why I ordered it. And, and it's an all weather tent for spring, summer. It's four season tent. It's a four season tent. So that's why I got it too. And it's small and compact. I can store it in my car and every, or my car, my van. So I'm really excited for this. Um, I want to step out my comfort zone and start doing some camping. I'm going to take my van, of course, but I'm going to be doing the campsites where there's, where there's, uh, uh, camping and RV camping and tent camping. Remember that one video where I showed you guys where you could go off into the woods and set up your tent and camp out? That's what I want to do. Trying to get ready for when I do full-time travel to like Utah and Colorado and places like that so I can get used to camping outside and not be so nervous and so scared. But here it is, guys. I ordered a one-man tent. So picture will be up here somewhere what it looks like when it's put together. But it's pretty cool. And I got a deal on it, too. It was on sale. So... I'm excited. So, so happy for this. All right. I'm kind of hungry. I ate, I didn't eat that whole salad. I ate about half of it. And then I took another one of those gastrointestinal pills and I was okay. I didn't want to test the waters and eat the whole thing. I'm trying to kind of work my body into eating things that I'm not normally used to eating. And so I was okay. I didn't feel nauseous. I didn't feel sick. So I was able to eat half of that salad with taking the pill. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start kind of slowly working my body into different types of leafy greens, raw leafy greens. I can eat cooked greens, but not raw. Slowly working my way into raw leafy greens. In addition to taking uh, one of those gastrointestinal pills after I eat uh, or right before I eat, we'll see how it works. But after seems to work. So I was really happy about that. I'm hungry. We'll see what I do. I'll probably just grab a slice of pizza, a cheese pizza from Sam's Club. I don't know about you guys, but those cheese pizzas from Sam's Club be slap. And uh, they're as big as my head. And one slice is good for me. Uh, I've been eating out a lot the last couple of days, but that's fine. I'm, I'm allowing myself to do it. I'm not going to stress about it. I do go to the gym a lot. I work out. I do a ton of cardio. So I'm not about to stress about what I eat and how much I eat and all that stuff. So... I'm just talking myself up. I tend to stress sometimes about it, but I, I'm not. So I decided I'm gonna go grab a pizza, a piece, a slice of pizza for lunch, and then I'm gonna head to the library and close out my day there. So let's go get some lunch. And then um, and what I like about Sam's Club Pizza is that um, one slice is really cheap. It's like $2, $2.50, $2. And the, the pizza is really big, the slices. I'm eating pizza now guys I can't say I could no longer say that I'm not a pizza person because if I get this pizza today it'll be my fourth time this year so I think I'm slowly becoming a pizza person that's weird let's go get this pizza at Sam's Club Jeez, I've been dying and craving for it if you know you know see people in their vehicles eating their pizza sam's club pizza hands down probably my favorite of pizzas when i do get pizza 
two dollars for that look how big that piece is two bucks first bite goes to you have that bite there you go have that bite mm, mm -mm. this is really nice it's warm it's fresh I think I'm falling in love with pizza. Thanks to van life. It's quick, it's easy when you don't feel like cooking. Mm. After this, for real, for real this time, I have to go to the library. It's just so freaking good. I remember somebody commenting on one of my videos that they counted the amount of times I chewed my food before swallowing it and they said it wasn't enough. They said I, I chewed like 15 times before I swallowed and I needed to chew like 20 something times. I was like, wow. Fascinating. On my last video, or my stealth camping video, where I stealth camp at a transmission shop. And I said that I won't be going back to that place. That's, you know, the last time I'll go there. First and only time. Uh, someone in the comments asked, why won't I go back there if it's not as, if it's, if it's so safe, why not just go back there and stay? I don't want to stay because I already have my safe spots, my places where I hop between that I go that are safe for me. And I, I, I sleep there on the daily and I switch between. This is just me having fun, uh, testing the waters at different spots where I can sleep. Um, if I'm desperate and the weather's bad and I'm in a, a position where I can't get to my safe space where I sleep, then I might consider one of these places that I'm stealth camping at if it's close to me. But I already have my set spots. These spots, I just go to have fun, camp at night, see what it's like, and then leave. I'm not stealth camping to find new spots. I already have my spots. Have a bite right there. So, yeah, this is just me having fun, testing the waters. I seriously can't wait to start traveling full time. I, you guys don't even know how bad I can't wait. Oh, mm -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and finish this pizza up. And then I got to go to the library, do some boring work, nothing fun. And then I'm done for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really, really do. Um, it wasn't a stealth camp video. It wasn't a video like that or anything like that but it was just an average day uh in my life of upgrading my van like we did some serious upgrades today the tires and that uh gas cap that locks what you know i'm getting ready for full-time travel so i really hope you enjoyed our lunch no matter how short it was i really hope you do i enjoy your time in your company i want to thank you guys for spending just a little bit of your time with me to watch my videos I, that does mean a lot to me i appreciate all the comments the likes the positivity it does mean the world to me thank you thank you thank you i have the best best community i will continue to say that until i can never until i can't say it no more i have the best community on youtube thank you
and uh i wonder will i i'll sleep next what stealth camping spot will i be camping at next any guesses anyways i'm gonna get out of here finish this off and get some work done thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video take care peace